This eyes right here, and then just leaning in towards me slightly. Angle the eyes this way a bit. Eyes right here. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So Ferris, what type of rolls are you typically getting? Uh, usually, hipster. Hipster. Or a uh, tall, dark, handsome guy. Okay. Yeah. So we're on location. I've got my subject, Ferris, here. He's an actor, model, and like he's mentioned, he's cast as the tall, dark, handsome hipster guy, <laughs> which you can see is quite, quite relevant. Um, but this chaotic, kind of busy location, we've chosen sort of industrial back alley scene that has a lot of texture, a lot of lines, a lot of walls. I'm really working with a low aperture to use, so I'm using the background as context, but it's not going to be too interruptive or take over my shots. I feel like the location adds a lot to that. When I'm shooting with a 50 millimeter, I'm actually shooting to create a bit more context, a contextualized portrait that tells a bit more about the subject, because it includes more of the background. If I were to switch it up and shoot him for more of a headshot style portrait, I'd throw on my 85 millimeter and capture the frame a little bit more in portrait format. This isolates the subject from the background and suddenly my background becomes this beautiful out of focus textural backdrop that no longer kind of takes over or tells a story. So bring your chin this way, I'm going to direct him into a nice emotive pose here. Eyes right into the lens. Just angle your head this way a little bit. Good. Drop, put the sunglasses in your pants so your hands are free. And for me, as I'm directing the subject and I'm telling the subject to do different things, like just fix your hair here. Yep. I'm shooting all these in-between moments. Nice. Great, and just look down at your feet for me. Kind of shift them around a little bit. Good, and bring your chin this way and bring your eyes up to me. It's those in-between moments that are unpredictable and it's kind of hard to direct. So let's walk back a little bit and just um, change our background up a bit. I use my Pelican case as a ladder. Back right up, this is nice. And I'm loving this soft rim light that we're getting in here. Just back it up a little bit. I've got the perfect time of day where the light is quite low in the afternoon sky. Bring your nose this way, and I'm just getting a nice soft rim light. Same spot there. Yeah, that's good. Come this way, and we even have a nice little bit of highlight on the top of your head. You want and then, the reflector again? Yeah, right in under his face here, creating. Okay. Yep. Yeah. White? Yes, this is going to put a nice white catch light right in his eye. It's beautiful. Bring your chin this way. Gorgeous. Just hold on. I love the texture of your hair. Washed it 12 hours ago. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> so prepared. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Deep breath. Bring your nose this way a little bit. Keep your eyes here. Gorgeous. Now a bit more confrontational. That was quite like dreamy and yeah. toes pointed towards me. So it's very directed towards the camera in a kind of confrontational way. That's it. And now just take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale. As you do, bring your chin towards me. Nice. Yeah, me too. You're kind of like, it's like confrontational a little yeah. bit. Why yeah. Why do I become a man? With the beard. <laughs> so this is really nice. Bring your chin this way. Come forward towards me, walk towards me. Now come this way a bit. Step this way, there. Very peaceful within the gaze. Just a far away expression. Yeah. All right, last few frames, right into the camera. Take a deep breath. I'll get you on the exhale. Just leaning right into me. Just close the lips slightly. Yeah, make the eyes a little more intense, right into the lens, good. Awesome, last couple frames. Beautiful.